Good Monday morning, everybody. Another week is here. It's a short week this week. Friday's a holiday. So we can look forward to that. Though the obvious downside to that is that there's one less day of trucking this week. But, that's okay. Next weekend is Easter weekend. I don't know if I'm just imagining things, but ever since, <laughs> ever since my vlog, what was it, last week, where I was talking about how bright the menu is here, the very next day, and since then, it's been dimmer. <laughs> so thank you. If the owners are watching my vlog and they dimmed it for us, I appreciate that. If it's just a coincidence, I appreciate that just the same. Strange, right? I don't expect them to be watching my videos. I always, I never know who's watching my videos, you know? Sometimes I'm surprised how far they reach. The internet's a pretty cool place. It could very well be. Maybe they saw the video or someone told them about it anyways. Maybe someone who knows them told them. It doesn't hurt my eyes in the morning now. That's nice. Look at us making positive differences in the world. Look at us go. I never know who's on the other end of these videos because I just have a camera in front of me, right? But there's a lot of you out there all over the world. And who knows, you know? Who knows who else is watching right now? I've had a couple of famous people reach out to me and just... I, I just feel like an ordinary guy. I just drive a truck for a living. I walk around talking to this little GoPro. And sometimes we can take what little things we have in life like that, like a little GoPro. Here's the lesson. You can take what little things you have with you and you can make a big difference in the world around you. You know, I've had countless emails where people have been in tough times and my videos have brightened their day. That's what I'm here for. I, I try to make my videos as positive as I can, uh, realizing that I am human, I'm not perfect, I have bad days too, but I wake up every day and I say, you know what, today's gonna be a good day. And I really hope that positive energy makes it through the camera to you. And it's exciting to hear when it does. We can make the world just a little bit of a better place. If we can make the world around us or the world in general just a little bit better than we found it, then at least one day when I die, or as I'm on my deathbed, at least I can say, hey, I made a little bit of a difference, even if it's just a little bit. The tractor's still here. Wonder where it's going. That sunrise is always so nice from here. Ever since daylight savings time, we don't get to see the sun first thing when we get here, but... Oh, we will. We will. <laughs> Once summertime gets here, we can't get rid of the sun. It just won't leave us alone. Oh, this big rut is here again. It's hard to fix that, I guess, with all the trucks packing it down all the time. Good morning. It's been a bit. I hope you had a good weekend. Oh, the mechanics had her again. Wonder what they did. Nothing quite like a feeling of just a 
fresh pair of gloves on your hands, right? Quick and easy first assignment. Just a quick trailer drop. Now I've got to go and grab some paperwork. We've got a load of pipe, but we have to wash it before we deliver it. So we've got a contract or, a, or a, an account, I mean, down the road at a wash. They're gonna quickly clean the freight so it looks nice and pretty for the customer. And then I've got two drops in Winnipeg. We're gonna go get rid of these today. And then we have another one after that to do of something else yet but let's just focus on this pipe for now so get it washed off and get this done as quick as we can we're looking for trailer 104 it's got green pipe on it 104 104 like usual i am completely blind and can't see it i'll find it yet that'll be here somewhere the yard isn't that big ah there it is i'm pretty sure that's it right there See it? Point our nose straight at it. But I gotta turn around, it's it works better when I hook up to the back. tights because they're uh, over the front here a little bit I guess. They're already all tied down. I'll just double check all of these straps, make sure they're up to my standards. I don't know why they're hanging so far over the front. They got room back here. But there must be a logical explanation for this. So that's our load. We gotta go wash it off. Uh, customer wants it to arrive nice and clean. Nice and pretty. Those are tight. 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 It's very light freight. Very, very light freight. I'm not even gonna be able to feel it back here. Man. Would've been nice to have these in a roll tight. Oh, I see. They're already hanging quite a ways over the back here. Oh, I didn't even, <laughs> see? That's why. That's why, and they had to put this up here. I see, I see. I see, said the blind trucker Josh, I see. Nice and tight. Cool, let's give her. Well, the customer wants all the dirt and road grime off their freight. So I'm using the fire hose here and the self wash. I either had to wait about 40 minutes, uh, I guess they're just on lunch right now. Or they said you could do it yourself. I was like, oh, I'll have a shot at it. This is the Blue Water Wash in Blumenort. I'll give them a quick shout out. Very clean, very nice. They'll wash the truck for you or you can do the self-wash option. I did the other side already. We're gonna come around and do this side right away. And while we're here, we're gonna give this thing a quick rinse as well. I'm not gonna take her to the bath and not give her a bath. That's just rude. Just fire her. bottom here. I gotta come back and get that. I'm gonna take the wand, the wand to it yet. Which they've got over here. So this is cold water in the fire hose. And they got hot water over here. 
I'm actually very impressed with how clean this wash is. Look at this floor. Yeah, you can eat off that. It's very nice. Well, I am on a time crunch here, so we gave her a bit of a rinse, at least, with the hose as I was walking around. I had to walk around here anyways to get to this side, right? So logic says you just keep the hose running and spray it at the truck. All right, I gotta dry my gloves on the dash here before we get to our customer. Okay, let's get it back out of here. All right, you're gonna guide me out. is just right over there. I've got one more small piece to bring around the corner to a different place yet. 
There's a little bit left on the kick. The rest is all unloaded here now. Big building site. No idea what they're building, but I was a part of it. One of these days. Empty. Okay. Both bills signed. Okay, let's go and uh, figure out what's next. Oh, and instantly your head is nice and cool. Oh, I love having my hair this short. Did I tell you already? I bought a new uh, a razor specifically to shave my head bald. A little bit shorter than this yet. I'll probably do it once a week on the weekends or something just to keep up with it. I'm really liking it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I've, I'm, I've been told that it suits me, and I, I feel that, that way too. I, I think that it suits me. But let me know what you think of my hair or my lack of it. Give me your best shot. Take a swing. Let's get out of here. Gotta bring this uh, empty back and figure out which trailer I'm supposed to hook onto. They said that they have something more for me to deliver today yet. So we better not waste any time. <coughs> Excuse me. U-turn, nice big lot. I like that when they build their lots big enough for their delivery trucks to be able to comfortably get in. Very often, uh, not very often, but sometimes it seems they build these businesses knowing full well that they're going to have big trucks coming and going and they uh, don't factor that into the blueprints. But oh well, that's why we're professionals, right? We make it work. We make it work. two jobs complete today already and it's only 12 30. I'll see you guys back at the yard. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like Roger got to deliver that tractor. Wonder where it went. Couldn't have gone far because I saw it in the yard this morning yet. And the time is what quarter after two now and he's already back and it's gone. That would have been fun. got an empty, uh, the empty trailer behind me and I gotta find a spot for it. And then hook onto a van.
working. Let's take a look inside, shall we? See how clean or dirty it is. Oh my. All right, well, I guess I'll be going to get the broom. What, they like, like cutting wood in here or something? It's a bunch of sawdust. Hi ho, hi ho, off to get the broom we go. Because people don't clean up their trailers. Da -da 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 so I'll do it for them. How about that? And off we go to clean up someone else's mess. All right, how bad is it? trailer sing before? <laughs> when the wind hits them just right, they sing. We got the trailer all ready to drop here. Take a quick look inside the trailer. Looked like this was some kind of picnic tables that I picked up. So they're all tied together so they don't fall off or anything, but uh, see, there's like one up here and there's the seats. Another two there, so there's three stacked up here and then there's three, six, nine, twelve, I guess about in here. I'm sure tomorrow uh, we'll be filling up the rest of the space here. But for now, it'll wait right here. Uh, where is this going to? Let's check. This stuff is going to a Wawa in Crystal River, Florida. That's pretty cool. Wawa is like a convenience store, sort of like uh, uh, 7-Eleven, I guess, right? You guys in the U.S. could correct me if I'm wrong. It's something like a, a local 7-Eleven, sort of on the east coast of the U.S. Someone in Florida is getting new picnic tables. At least we know they're going to be used, right? Because I think everything's open in Florida, so it's not like they're just going to set them up and rope them off. <laughs> I understand why she's singing now. I'd be singing too if I knew I was headed to Florida. She's just excited. Raindrops are falling on my head. The storms are coming. Alberta's following through on her threat. She's sending us her weather. Not very nice, Alberta. I know you're just trying to give us a present, but there's a whole bunch of other better presents I think you could have given us other than this weather. There's supposed to be a cold front moving in. Starting right now, it's going to start off as rain for the rest of the evening, and then around midnight or one in the morning, it's going to turn to snow. 
Hooray! So tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day at work. We're going to have snow. <laughs>